Hey everybody, that's uh, so this video here. We got three more 10 ball racks to uh, go through here. Uh, this one starts out, we got two balls down on the break and a bit of a thin cut on this one ball. So I'm gonna be cutting it in, and the key ball is gonna be traveling uh, here and then you know across the table towards the you know, This is where a diamond would be if the pocket wasn't in the way, and that's where it's traveling towards, and actually is gonna end up pocketing the five ball. You know, no way to scratch on that because, you know, the five balls there would be really a tough roll to go off the six off the five and in. So here, just hitting that with some low English to slide over for the six ball. And we'll just be playing this with some top English to just drive it to the rail and back across the table. Uh, just making sure I got an angle on the seven ball. And nice angle on that. So we'll be playing this with some uh, bottom English and be a little bit of like a tip of left to go into the rail and out. And then uh, this shot here, I didn't play this one very well. I should be playing this with low right and kind of dragging it off the rail. And I should have been dragging it up table like that, but I ended up going all the way across. I just let the cue ball run. So now I'm playing this actually with some uh, high, I think that's left spin, double in the corner and back down towards the 10 ball to get uh, back in line here. Yeah, a little bit of a severe cut on the 10, but not, not bad. And really uh, no way to scratch it. Just play it with top English and you're going into the rail over here. So... Uh, on to the uh, next one here. All right, in rack number two. So we got one ball down on the break and nice layout. Not really, not really any problem. The only thing just to be uh, pay attention to is just making sure you get good right here because you know the four ball uh, is kind of covered by the six balls. That's really the only problem that's what I'm looking at now is uh, where I want to be on this two ball to get a decent shot at the four ball. And I have a good angle on that and this actually does go into the corner so I'm going to be playing for that. Some uh, low, I think that's left spin. And just make sure I roll this forward so I'm not snookered on the six ball, but of course not too far forward where I'm snookered on the seven ball. And I hit that ball good. It's just other, the only thing I did wrong is I'm on the rail, but a bit of top left spin on this to put it in and get to the side rail and out for the six. And just kind of slow roll that in. And this shot here, the 10 ball is there, and I'm going to run into it, so I'll make sure I play it with some high spin and some left English, so when I do hit it, I can come back up table. And I did that good, other than, but the only thing I did, I'm trying to actually run out and not play, play combos on the 10 ball, and I actually lined up the combo, so... Here, I'm trying to just fire this thing in and get to where I can get down here for the easy bank into the corner. And I hit that horribly, almost scratched. So now I've left myself with the uh, one pocket bank. And uh, on this shot here, there's, uh, I mean, if you play, play one pocket or ever played it, uh, if you can shoot the cue ball directly into the hole when you're banking it, that means there's a double kiss. So I've actually got to play this with some uh, left spin to spin the cue ball away from the nine ball because the nine ball is going to be cutting into the rail and heading this way. And the cue ball is going to be tracking uh, into the uh, uh, diamond here and then coming back up the table, which is going to cause a double kiss. So with uh, the left spin, the cue ball is going to hit the nine. And it's going to be uh, uh, rebound into the rail, and the left spin is going to pull the cue ball away from the nine ball, so the nine ball can actually get into this corner with, without the double kiss. And uh, it's not a shot you would ever play playing. Some of you should be playing the combo, but see the left spin there to barely beat the kiss, and play that uh, really as well as you can from where I was at and then we'll just deposit the 10 ball here and I will uh, get on to the last rack all right we got our third final rack here uh, looks like playing this one at 550 in the morning 
you know, just trying to do a uh, break and run a day for February uh, for 10 ball. Uh, last month I did 9 ball. Next month I'm probably going to do 8 ball, which I never play. But anyway, back to the uh, exciting action here. Uh, I'm just making sure the 4 ball clears the 5. Uh, it's close, but it does clear. And so slow roll that in to make sure that uh, I don't hook myself on the eight ball. And I'm going to be playing this just uh, basically center ball just to bounce off the rail of hair so I'm not stuck on the rail shooting this. And then I'll be hitting this with some uh, low English and some left and really trying to get through this, keep the tip on the cue ball and actually get the left on it. A little drag shot there. And the left English makes the four ball spin right, which keeps it on the rail and past the five and in the hole. And then this will just be spinning with uh, two rails. And out for the six ball. Now, I like to play balls in the corner pockets if I can, so I, I you know, would like to just actually kind of leave that in that, this area here to shoot the eight down in the corner, but it's such a thin cut that that's really hard to do because, you know, the cue ball is not going to lose any speed uh, when it hits the ball because it's so thin. So I'm actually going to be playing this with some high right English and two rails. And actually going to come down here and play the eight in the side pocket. And now, uh, you know, using the rake there, I hit that pretty good. Kind of got a goofy angle on this here. So I'll be playing this just with some, I think, just some bottom English. And try to just stun over, like, somewhere kind of over here. And I don't like the angle, though. I'm thinking, like, do I slow roll it? Do I kind of power it with some inside and into the rail and back out or what but in the end I just ended up doing this simple thing which is some low maybe a little bit of right and just coming over and now this shot if I were to hit this good I'd be drawing it and coming out here but I, I hit it bad and got to the uh, this direction and left myself kind of a goofy Goofy shot on the 10 ball here. It's basically a spot shot. And I definitely would prefer to be closer to it, but this this isn't bad. I mean, I used to practice spot shots. I don't miss too many of them, so I'm going to fire that in. All right, and then I'm going to link my other two YouTube channels that need subscribers. If anybody wants to help out and subscribe, that would be awesome. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to everybody later.